many people, this is their first car. But now there's a grown-up version, and this one's got more than pedal power. I like driving in my car. It don't look much, but I've been far. John Bitmead has created a real-life, roadworthy little tyke's car. It takes petrol, has a tax disc, and goes a bracing 70 miles an hour. But the question is, why? Just thought, what a wonderful idea to make something like that, but real. Yeah. Um, and as soon as I thought about it, I thought, I know the car. I know the yeah. car straight away. It's got to be one of these. It took a 1,000 hours and more than £4,000 to make. What were the things that you really wanted to maintain about the original car? Like, what were the things that you were really glad you were able to kind of work around and keep? The major thing was the, uh, the lack of windows. Yeah. Um, I, although was, today, yeah. I have to say, I think that, <laughs> that could have been a nice addition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was always going to be the main thing. Uh, I had to have no windows because that is absolutely what the toy is. It's just like the original, except there's now an airbag, proper lights and better mirrors. They're going to use it to raise money for charity. Uh, children's charities, uh, primarily. We want to do a John O'Groats to Land's End run. But in 30 days... Wow. So every day you go so far, stop in a big town um, and see what you can raise in that town, really. For now, though, John's just enjoying being a big kid on the road. Charlotte Stacey, BBC News.